Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Kathy Nelson. Young, pretty, bubbly personality. Sound familiar at all? Oh, hey, sis. Been a while. I didn't even recognize her. Good to see you too, asshole. I'll just get this over with. Well, on the bright side, you are no longer the dustiest thing in the room. Oh, you really let this place go. Good thing we're not here for the scenery then. Once we find Dad's skates, we're getting the hell out of here. That was the deal. You know, sis, your negativity is really fucking with my vibe. Being drunk at a funeral. That's a new low, even for you. Sure beats going through the whole thing sober. Please don't run off on me, dick. Good morning, Westfar. My name is Paul Nelson. I'll be your DJ this evening. How are we doing out there tonight? Okay, tough crowd. Tough crowd, but that's okay. We're going to get this party started with a little throwback to the 1980s. Enjoy. <laughs> You know, anytime you want to quit screwing around and help me look for these skates, mm. that'd be great. You know, I do not know how it is genetically possible for me to be related to such a goddamn buzzkill. <laughs> well, pardon me for giving a shit. Maybe you don't care about being late, but I have people counting on me to be there. Well, Dad won't care. It's not like he's going anywhere. I'm sorry. Not cool. All right, not cool. But I mean, come on, Cassie, we grew up here. You know, I'm home for the first time in almost 20 years, and I, this place still has that magical feel it did when we were kids. Our childhood was never magical. It was to me. Please help me look. Dad's funeral wouldn't be the same without them.
Can I have my Tootsie Roll now? Thank you. Hey, Dad. Shift was supposed to end an hour ago, so can I go now? Sorry, Cass. Fridays are always this busy. I still need your help in merchandise for a little while longer. Then make Paul do it. Why am I here working and he's out having all the fun? Because I trust you. And someday, when I'm not around, it's gonna be up to you to keep the rink going. Did you think Paul was gonna do it? I know it's a thankless job. Take a look around. Do you see how happy everyone is? When they walk through that door, they forget their troubles. We work and we worry, so they don't have to. That's what family does for each other. But I suppose we've sold enough candy for the night. The crowd could probably use a visit from Bingo. You mean it? Like out here? Oh, duh, they're in there. You're probably right. I am? Are you feeling all right? Peachy. I used to dream about what it looked like in here. I used to sneak peeks whenever you guys would leave the door open a crack. I can't believe I'm actually inside. You could have seen it a lot sooner if you'd have just taken the job. You couldn't just let me in. I don't make the rules. Employees only. Yeah, I can read. Thanks. Oh, you used to look so stupid in that thing. I did not. In fact, I kind of like dressing up like Bingo. You enjoyed dressing up in a kitty costume, huh? I guess it was just fun pretending to be somebody else for an hour. Oh, sis, you wouldn't know a good time if it fell out of the sky and bit you in the ass. Knowing you, your favorite job perk around here was doing paperwork. Which, by the way, you are doing a very bad job of. We lost the rink? They're tearing it down at the end of the month. Putting in a Starbucks. I tried to save it. People just don't want to skate anymore. When were you going to tell me this? I wasn't. It's not your problem. So they're going to go ahead and tear down our childhood home, and, and, and you couldn't even be bothered to tell me? There's no our, Paul. There's no we. 
You made it pretty clear you didn't give a shit about our family or the rink when you left us. Well, I'm here now. Only because Dad's dead. If he wasn't, it'd be another 10 years before we even spoke. You know, maybe you can remember all the fun times we had here. All I can think about is how I promised Dad I would take care of this place and how I failed. You were nowhere around. Why would you cross my mind? You know what, just don't, okay? We're not kids anymore, Paul. It's time to grow up. They were there the whole time. Because that should have been the first place we looked. I'm glad it wasn't. You know, sis, not all of my memories of this place are magical. I never had what you and Dad did. Being here just reminded me that I wasn't in on the joke. That I didn't fit in. I guess, I guess that's why I had to make my own way in the end, you know? Now Dad's gone. Rank is gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I just sort of always thought they'd be here waiting for me when I got back. And now I can never make that right. I can't lose you too. You haven't lost me. Yet. Because you're so old? God. You just had to ruin it. Yeah. For the last of the Nelsons. Oh. <laughs> We should get going. Service starts in 15 minutes, and I know how you feel about being late. I think we have time for one final skate. That is, if you aren't too rusty.
I'm really gonna miss this place. Me too. Give me a minute. I'll see you there. So long.